So a complaint I often see in the Final Cut forums is related to captions and the fact that you can't style them the way that you want to. And the reason for that is that captions are designed to meet certain broadcast standards, so they're very limited. The solution is to convert your captions into titles. And today I'm going to show you a fast, easy, and free way to do just that. So here I am in Final Cut Pro, and I've got a project which happens to be a rendered movie, but it really doesn't matter. The point is that I have already have uh, captions for this project that you can see below here. And the way that I did that is I created uh, an SRT file uh, using, in this case, Mac Whisper. There's a bunch of other options you can see on the screen here because this happens to be a program about cutting interviews. So we're a little bit meta here. But I have these captions all in here and they're fine. But the problem is if I select one of them and we look over the inspector, there's no options to change things like the font or the font size or the position. You can just change the color, the formatting a little bit. So you have very little control over how these captions that we're using as subtitles look. And that's because captions have certain broadcast standards they have to adhere to and they're very limited. So what we need to do is convert these into titles. Now you can see here over in the timeline index in the roles tab that my captions are in the SRT format, which is what you want to have. If yours aren't, you can select them all, right click and choose duplicate captions to new format and then choose SRT and you'll have an SRT version that you can work with. So to get started, I'm going to export these captions. File, export captions. I'll leave these settings at the default. I'll leave the project name as is and just export to the desktop. Next, you want to go here, editingtools.io slash subtitles to use their free subtitle tool and converter. I'll click on Browse. I'll select that captions file that I exported. By the way, if you still have the original SRT file you imported, you can just use that. I'll click Upload. I want to translate from SRT and I want to convert to Go down to the bottom here, Apple Final Cut Pro, Subtitles as Titles, Experimental. I need to set the frame rate to match my project, which is 30 in this case. Under Fixed Subtitles, I like to turn this on as well so that everything's enabled here. And there's a bunch of other options here. If I click it, you'll see Advanced Functions. There's a lot of other cool stuff, but we don't need it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Generate. Once that's generated, I'll click Download. That generates an XML file. So now I'll go back to Final Cut Pro. I'll choose File, Import, XML. Select that file. It creates a new event. In that event is new project. I'll open that project up. And there are all my titles. I'll select them all. Copy them. Go back to my project, move the play to the beginning, paste them in. And then in the timeline index under roles, I'll disable my captions. So now I just see my titles. Now by default, they're too big, they're too long, they're in the center of the screen. So what we can do is select them all. I could use the transform tool to move them down, but I prefer to go to the video inspector so that I know I'm just moving them vertically and I'll move them all down about here. And now, because these are titles, we can go to the text inspector and do things like changing the font, changing the font size, adding an outline or a glow or drop shadow. I'll add a drop shadow here. That allows the text to show up a little bit better on a white background. I'm going to turn that off because what I really prefer to do is put these titles on top of a background. With the timeline active, press function right arrow to go to the end, tap O, function left arrow to the beginning, press I. I don't really need to in this case because it's a single clip. Then I'm going to go to the titles and generators sidebar, down to generators, to solids. I'll take the custom solid and press Q for a connect edit that will exactly match the length of my project. 
Then I'll hold the shift key down and drag down to move it below my titles. Now I could crop it down to the correct size, but I'd like to round the corners a bit. So instead, I'm going to go to the effects browser and in the mask and keying category, I'm going to add a shape mask. I'll set the feather to zero, resize it, adjust the rounding, and then to reposition it, again, I'll drag in the Y value field to make sure I'm not moving it left or right. And then to make sure it's wide enough for each of my text lines, I'll scrub through. And I have some longer text lines, so I'll make it wider and a little more narrow. And just double check to make sure that it fits everything. I've got a long one there. I would probably take that line and split it into two. So in the text inspector, I'll add in a return there. Finally, I just might reduce the opacity of that background so we can see through it a little bit. And I'll turn off the mask so it's not visible. And very quickly, we have titles customized exactly the way we want for a half hour program. As always, we'd like to know what you think. So please leave a comment below. If you like this kind of content, subscribe. We come out with a lot of content on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.